2006 Clover Hill JV football season comes to an end at home against the Rapids of James River. The team taking the field hand in hand, as did the captains Josh Bailey, A.J. Clanton, Spence Brennan, and L.T. Thomas. The team focused on their final moments in JV football and the varsity games to come. Clover Hill receives the opening kickoff, and as he always does, A.J. Clanton gives the Cavs good field position with his return. Clanton busting it up through the middle, finally getting brought down with a whole herd of Rapids. And two plays later, it would be Josh Bailey sending this one down range 25 yards, and Chris Smith, wide open, takes it the remaining 25 yards for the Cavalier touchdown. But the extra point attempt ricocheted right off the goal post, and the Cavaliers led by six with just over a minute played in the game. Clover Hill kicked back to the Rapids, but the defense of the Clover Hill Cavaliers came out pounding. Zach Burkholder, Frankie Snyder, Richard Robbins, L.T. Thomas, and Spence Brennan all getting in on stops against the James River offense. Clover Hill made little progress on their second possession, but the Rapids took full advantage of theirs and pushed down the field and eventually pushed their way into the end zone, taking the lead on the successful extra point. With the Cavaliers back in control after the kick, Michael Haynes pushed his way through the Rapid defense. But the Clover Hill offensive line seemed off kilter as the Rapids blitz stunned the Cavs and stopped Haynes for a loss. The Cavaliers would suffer two other unsuccessful plays and then they would be forced to punt back to James River. On the return, Marcus Jackson would make the single arm snag, bringing down the Rapids returner and bringing the defense back on the field. The Rapids offense gained a little momentum early in the drive but as the Rapids worked inside the Clover Hill 20, the Cavalier defense got more aggressive and kept in check the running game. Teron Wilson and others pulling off nice stops. And the Rapids shut down on the run, were forced to go to the air. And Chris Smith picks off the pass in the end zone for the Cavs and starts back his return when the referee blows his whistle. The play is called for an inadvertent whistle, giving the ball back to the Rapids with a complete replay of the down on a very controversial call, finally resulting in a James River touchdown. They would miss their extra point, but were now up 13 to six over the Cavaliers. The Cloverville offense would get the ball back with just over a minute left, and Bailey put his offense to work with a great pass to Chris Smith, who dodged and fought his way for more yardage. The Cavs used their last time out to plan strategy, while A.J. Clanton shows Bernard Clark and Isaiah Finney his magic Nikes. Back to serious business, and Bailey scrambles from one side of the field to the other to gain more yardage for the drive. Bailey always dangerous in the position to run, pushes his offense down the field. Moving from left to right, Bailey continues to gain yardage for the Cavaliers, keeping the drive alive. And then he would find Marcus Jackson in the corner and Jackson comes down with the ball, the officials marking it at the one foot line. The Cavaliers have one chance left, but Bailey unable to get it up the middle as time runs off the clock. Clover Hill finding itself trailing by seven going into the second half. The Rapids drove downfield on their opening possession of that second half and even stops on breakthrough plays by Bernard Clark, by A.J. Clanton, and a stop right at the goal line by Jacob Hutchinson, and another stand-up shot at the goal line by Snyder and Burkholder would not stop the Rapids. And after scoring and picking up the extra point conversion, the Cavaliers now found themselves down 20-6. At this point, the Cavaliers really needed a boost, and A.J. Clanton would provide one. Clanton, who nearly fumbled the ball away on the kick, initially he picks it up, finds an opening, blasts his way through the Rapids, going downfield 80 yards, getting great hits from his teammates, and picking up a Cavalier touchdown. With the extra point getting nailed by Burkholder, the Cavs were back to one touchdown behind. Even the cheerleaders were getting pumped up and into the action. The Cavaliers kick back to the Rapids, and on the botched kick return, it was Spence Brennan making a great tackle and keeping the team pumped up. And then Josh Bailey, working on defense, makes the interception, returning the ball to the Cavaliers. But three plays later, the Clover Hill offense turns the ball over on a fumble. The Rapids could not develop a push on offense, and the Cavaliers return to the field to take possession of the ball for the final quarter of play, and it's Bailey with a great leaping catch by Burkholder. But again, the Cavalier drive would be halted by the officials and not the rapid defense. Burkholder with another great catch, 
inbounds and clear control. It's called no catch. The Cavaliers turn the ball over on downs, hoping their defense can hold and give them one more shot, and the defense would hold. Finally stopping the Rapids inches short with Brennan and LT Thomas on the bring down. Clover Hill's offense takes the field with just over a minute and a half remaining. And early on, it looked as if they were stopped. But then Bailey would find Zach Burkholder. He would connect with Burkholder. Three quick receptions. Three great receptions again by Burkholder. Bailey and Burkholder connecting all night long perfectly. All this to the crowd's delight. Then Bailey dumps it out to Clanton and the speedster heads for the sidelines. Even taking out a couple people with him. Stopping the clock. And Bailey goes back to Burkholder, who gets out of bound as well to give the team one more shot. One last shot at the end zone, but the pass falls deep, and the Cavaliers' season ends at 6 and 4. The Rapids winning on a questionable night of calls, 20 to 13, over the Clover Hill Cavaliers. <laughs>